doing? Doing. Give you one of these. Uh, that's, all, that's all right. I don't, I'm just going to shake your hand. I, hey, I, I agree with what you're doing here on uh -huh. pro-life, you know. Uh -huh. um, but I got to give you my opinion. Uh-huh. The pictures, uh -huh. you're losing your message to the kids. Actually, no. That's what. That's actually what... Um, I know because I've got a 15-year... i got a 14-year-old daughter that goes to Independence. Mm -hmm. She saw your pictures mm -hmm. and we had to have a discussion about it. Hey, hey so the pictures actually worked. Actually, they did. No, no. Mm -hmm. Your pictures convinced her that you were radical people out here. For showing the truth. For showing the... It may be. I agree with you. What did I What did Bradley and Eisenhower and Patton do when they liberated Auschwitz? What did they do? Yeah, what did they do? First thing they did. I, I have no idea. Actually, they went to the community and they made them walk past the piles of dead bodies. Yeah. yeah. And then they made them bury them. Because everybody likes to say this is a bad thing. Everybody likes to have a, an opinion. I just, I just wanted to tell you mm -hmm. that the kids see this and they go in and they don't talk about, you know, pro-life versus pro-choice. That's okay. not the discussion. Well, we're not pro-life. We're abolitionists. Okay. Well, okay. They're not, they're not having the discussion about stopping abortion. Mm -hmm. The discussion, I'm trying to tell you, uh, the, 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 the discussions that the kids are having mm -hmm. are absolutely the opposite. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, the discussions they're having is, oh my God, did you see those pictures? They're so gross. They're absolutely atrocious. What are these people doing out there with these pictures? It's absolutely, you're losing the message. Well, actually, we're showing the you truth, know, sir. And that's what Ephesians 5.11 tells us to do. I understand that. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, like I said, I'm pro-life. I'm, I'm with you guys 100%. Abortion needs to stop. It is. It is. It is a. a so what? What does your pro-life look like in a culture that kills over three thousand babies every day? Well, I'm I'm for pro. I'm I'm pro-life. I understand I'm, that. I understand needs, that. Needs to stop. Yeah. So what? What exactly? Like if if they were actually taking kids out of the school and killing them three thousand a day, what would the, well, your we, reaction we be to that? We wouldn't allow it. Right. But okay. what is your reaction then to? image bearers of God being murdered every day. I, I, I don't like it either, but there's, unfortunately, we are a land of laws, and the laws have, have said that, that, that they can do that. Actually, now, the, the right. Supreme Court can't make laws, not, okay? The Supreme Court can only interpret law according to the Constitution. But what happens is, is the pro-lifers then pass laws saying, if you do this, this, and this, then you can kill your baby. I understand that. Mm-hmm. Us to change the laws. No, it's, actually, it's up to us to be obedient to God. That includes changing the laws. We had HB 948 go forth in this in this state. I mean, I mean, we keep coming back to, to, to God, obviously. But isn't the laws of God? Isn't it, a, isn't it a law that you don't kill your baby? It's a law that you don't kill anybody. Well, okay. It's a commandment. Right. Thou shalt not is kill. It, is it a law? Is it a law? It's a commandment, yes. It's a commandment. It's a yes, law it that is. God gave us to live by. That's right? right. Okay. Does God also not say that that to, to obey your government, for he's the one that put them into power? Yes, he does. Okay. So now, if our government has allowed this to happen... Actually, the government isn't what has allowed this to happen. What has allowed this to happen is the church. Is the Supreme Court is the Supreme Court not the government? Is that the not the Supreme judicial, Court? Judicial like I said, the Supreme Court does not have the power. We've given them the power, they have the but power they do not have the power to. They have the power to interpret. Interpret, correct? Interpret the law. Okay. Right, but interpret we have turned around and made that law. Who who made the law? Nobody. That's what I'm saying. The it, the Supreme Court has made a decision. Their decision is not binding. Their, their decision. Okay. But their what decision. the pro-life movement has done is it has over time approved this law and this law and this law and this law that says in if Roe you do this, Wade, this, 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 you can then kill your child. In Roe versus Wade, they 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 interpreted the the law that it was allowed that she had the choice to decide what okay about Scott, i don't ag i don't agree with it i don't yeah. agree with it i'm with you guys i don't yeah. agree with it well but all my point was here yeah. was yeah. that 
I have a 14 year old daughter. She saw you guys over at Independence High School. Mm -hmm. That's all I stopped to tell you guys. Mm -hmm. I didn't stop to argue about. Oh, I'm not arguing, sir. Hey, and in fact, this I'm is what the Bible says that we are to come and talk and reason that, together. That the that the the, the pictures here. Yeah. Are, I understand them because I'm 54 years old and I've been around the flagpole several times. Mm -hmm. I understand the pictures and stuff, mm -hmm. but a 14-year-old girl does not. Actually, 14-year-old girls she, do, and for, yours might not, but 14-year-old girls, we stand out at okay, the clinics. 14-year-old girls are killing their children. I'm t I understand that. I'm not arguing that point with That's you. why this is called Project Frontlines. But we're trying to get them now but I'm before trying, we get I'm them at the to clinic. Tell you that it's like I told him, they're not they're not going inside going, oh wow, that was a moving picture that I just Actually, saw. Actually we can and show you videos of the results and the fruit of this. And emails. Yeah, emails, well, telling, videos. Of, of students who have actually said I was planning on having an abortion next week yeah. and we're not. Or we had an, I had an abortion and I wish I didn't. Great. Great. So, I mean, that's you know. why we're out here. And what? The re why are you against abortion? You're against abortion because it's murder, right? Because it's murder of the most innocent. Oh, it's, it's, it's murder. Because I believe it's a gift from God, and and you, okay, you so don't you don't you don't just really arbitrarily that. kill. You exactly. Know, exactly. You know, so, I, like I said, I'm with you guys. I understand. I right. But what, and what I asked you before is, what does that with you look like? Well, if I could, you know. Like, what does your Christianity if, if, look like in a culture that kills over 3,000 babies every day? If it was up to me, I would I would bulldoze every abortion clinic down and put them out of business. Right, but that would then go against the law, like you said. Would that, that, that would be the same thing as saying what I would, I would blow buildings up or I would yeah, kill abortionists. Yeah, yeah. That's against the law. I, All right? But I what take, you are allowed to I do within the law. I take my activities within the law. Right, and what does that look like? And when, when it... When, when, when oh, I have uh, a chance to change it through my vote or through my, my voice to my congressman or through my voice to my uh, to my to my uh, my local uh, GOP uh, town uh, town meeting, I voice my opinion. So you called your congressman when, when I, HB 948 when a, came when up this past session? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what HB 948 is? So then, how did you call your congressman and say that you were supporting that? Huh? How did how were how is it you were I calling? I support any of them a little bit. Right. Well, we actually had a bill in legislature this session, uh -huh. HB 948. Stand right here. Stand right here. That said, that made abortion illegal in this state, all abortion, and defied the federal government. Was it on the ballot? No, it wasn't on the ballot. It was going through the legislature to become law. It didn't need to go to the ballot. All right? And we rallied. We rallied. And out of 60,000 pastors, hundreds of thousands of Christians, you know how many supported it? 1,000. Less than 1,000. Uh, there are probably more than that supported it. They just didn't, didn't uh, make it known, make, make their voice known. Well, that's what I'm asking you. What exactly does your pro-life look like in a land that is killing two babies every minute? That's what I'm. It's, 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 that's what I'm asking you. You said you 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 contact your congressman. I, I talk to you vote. I vote. I talk to my congressman. I vote people in who are who are pro-life. Uh, you know. So if you were going, you're a Christian. You said. Yeah. Okay. So and you go to church. Yeah. Okay. So say you go to church. And every week they were taking, I don't know, two dozen kids out of your children's ministry to kill them. Would your re response to that be, well, this is terrible, and it's it's the law, but I would I would vote against that. First of all, your argument is, is kind of lopsided here because taking two thousand kids out of my out of my church and going and killing them is against the law. Right. Okay. So obviously, I would stand up for the law. Oh, so you you wouldn't stand up for their lives, you would stand up for the law. No, I'd stand up for their lives. My so, what makes them valuable? The law, or that they are babies or children created in the image of God, by the hand of God? What make, that's what I'm asking you, what makes them valuable? What makes them worthy of standing up and saying, you can't kill them? Their life. They're Which is created in the image of God by the hand of God, correct? So what makes them less 
Just because the law says, you see, the law used to say that black people weren't people. Keep coming back to this about the, the, what's their work, okay? Mm -hmm. I know what their worth is. That's not what I'm trying to tell you guys. To <clears> it's not their worth. It's what makes them valuable. It's, it's, what, what makes I'm them important. What I'm trying to tell you is that your message, and I don't care if you listen or not, mm -hmm. your message from here into there is being lost on a lot of the, a lot of the kids. Yeah, you know, okay. and, and that's what God because said because his I word would 14, do. I have a 14-year-old mm -hmm. daughter. I have a 14-year-old daughter who has a lot of friends. And they all come over, they're talking about it, mm -hmm. okay? What you guys put up here, all it did was stimulate a conversation in my house about this, right, about abortion. Excellent, is, excellent. And that's exactly what we wanted to do, was stimulate a conversation in your house about abortion. But the opinion you gave them mm -hmm. was, was an opinion that I had to fight to overcome. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you could have done a different opinion to them where they ask about abortion or they, they said... So what makes them ask is, about abortion? Dad, why is this, okay? Mm -hmm. Instead of, Dad, did you see those gross pictures out there? You know, it's just... It's, it's the and the response should have been, yeah, these are gross. They're, they're disgusting. They are. Right? But so were the piles of Jews in Nazi Germany. So were the pictures of the slaves in chains with the whip marks. They were disgusting. So what we do is we say that this should not be allowed to happen anymore. And I'm going to encourage you, sir, to, to really consider what your Christianity looks like. In a culture that murders over 3,000 children every day. What do you want to do? Become radical and go bulldoze the abortion clinics and kill no, the doctors? No, we, we already discussed that. That would, that would not be the righteous thing to do. What do you want me to do? Well, I talk to my children. I talk to my children's friends. What more do you want me to do? Come stand with us. Come stand with us. No, I'm not going to stand here when you got pictures like this, especially when I know that you're, you're given the wrong message. Okay, so now if I put those pictures away, then you'll come stand with us? If you took those pictures away and you put the actual arguments that, that are... These are the actual no, arguments. Not. These are gross pictures of... This is the people. truth. What does Ephesians 5.11 say? I don't care if they're the truth or not. I wouldn't take my daughter on a battlefield and have her look at the dead gross bodies laying on the battlefield. Because she doesn't need to see it. Actually, she does, sir. No, she does She not. needs to have her eyes open she to the Holocaust not. we are she in the midst not. of. She Just like in Nazi Germany, it. they needed to see it. No, they don't. Because everybody's got a no, nice moral don't. opinion. There's I'm no pro-life. But they don't no think reason. people are dying. There is no reason to give a child PTSD, okay? To give a child PTSD. If you take does your child play video field? games? Huh? Does your child play video games? No. Does she watch TV? Uh, Does she go to movies? Channel, no. Select channels that we take. Well, then that's awesome that you are guarding mama, your child's heart. We that's watch, awesome. Uh, impractical Jokers. We watch uh, Duck Dynasty. We are very selective in what we. That's allow excellent. That is excellent. Okay? That really is excellent. And, and destruction and 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 all that other crap that's on TV. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. That's excellent. Okay. But most people aren't like that, and that's excellent. And I commend you for that, sir. On the battlefield, and you showed them what what war is all about, they would come back with the same PTSD that the soldiers come back. Now, actually, they'd come back and say, that is disgusting. We should avoid that at all costs. Uh, nah. And that is what this is. Rethink your priorities. Because if you actually believe children were being murdered at the rate of two every minute, you probably would be doing a lot more than standing here arguing with me. I'm not arguing with you. Excellent, because I'm not arguing with you. My name's Matt, by the way. Andy. Andy? Yeah. It was nice to meet you, and I appreciate you stopping and talking to me. I'm just to tell you that, that with a lot of the kids, that's all. I'm not arguing the point with you. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is with the, with the pictures and the, and the shock factor, you're losing a, a lot of the message to the kids. Okay. Okay. Well, I appreciate your opinion, come, but the kids won't come out here and... Actually, we had a ton of kids out here yesterday, and we got more out here today, and we just got here. There's a lot of them that can come, that, that won't come talk to you because of this. Well, and there's also a lot of them who won't come because they're afraid of what their friends will think. And it's terrible, okay? But that's not going to, we are going to follow what God's word says. Ephesians 5.11, you have to have no part in the unfruitful deeds of darkness. That means no part. 
but rather you are to expose them. But nowhere does it say I'm gonna I'm gonna show traumatic pictures. When I was eight, what is not what does expose them when mean? When I was eighteen, I had to go pick up wrecked airplanes with dead bodies in it. Mm -hmm. It was traumatic. Now that I I'm, could imagine. Now that I'm fifty-five, I I wish I wouldn't have done that job. Yeah, but see, that's a tragedy. That's a tragedy, sir. That's a tragedy. What we're showing here is what this culture calls choice and health care. It's the same tragedy to me. When I see these pictures, I see the dead bodies that I picked up out of the airport. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm so I'm very sorry for that, sir. This. She sees she sees the same thing. She sees traumatic pictures. You don't mm -hmm. want to traumatize the kids. This isn't traumatizing, sir. Do you want to get them engaged and and discussing? And we do that, you sir. We're doing it to some, but a lot of them you're losing your message. Well, That's all I wanted to tell you. I love what you're doing. Keep it up, great. Just don't wish you would rethink the. Okay. And, and maybe you know go with something more positive. More that positive. one there. That one's not traumatic. No, that's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, and what does it say? Babies are murdered down the street from your church. And what does that look like? What does you would I'm think that the res that I'm, not, I'm not saying you're arguing. I would say, if babies are being murdered down the street from my church, what would my response look like? If they were still murdering African Americans and selling them down the street from where I go to church, what would my reaction be? Would my reaction be I'd stop and talk to the guys that are trying to expose it and tell them, you know, you shouldn't have pictures of the African Americans with with whip marks and chains because that's traumatizing. Or would you be standing there saying, hey, they're killing and enslaving people? That's all I'm trying to say, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for stopping the clock.